So what do you expect on the menu of a sports bar? Burgers, chicken, maybe some fried appetizers? Mm -hmm. I can support all of those. No, no, absolutely. <laughs> but sometimes, especially in the summer, you're looking for something lighter, and you'll find something to fill the bill on your most recent visit to Ameris. Yeah, a salad with some super, super <laughs> ingredients. Take a look. Well, my love for cooking and food has only grown since I've met Chef Andreas Hartman. He's the executive chef here at Ameristar Casino and Hotel. Good to see you, Chef. What are we making today? We're making a, a very healthy salad option that we actually serve in our Ameri Sports Bar yeah. on our new summer menu. Yeah. So what we concentrated on this salad is to incorporate as many, per se, superfoods that we could possibly jam into that salad. Do you take a lot of pride in the quality of food, uh, not only at your main restaurant, but the sports bar and, and your other um, eatery, eating Rainy facilities as well. As well. Yeah. yeah, so again, the, the idea of putting this salad on a sports bar menu was, first of all, it's a seasonal item, so it works great in the summertime. Second of all, it was to show that it doesn't only have to be fried in a sports bar, right? There's more than burgers to a sports bar, so we try to incorporate a little more innovative features on the menu that are per se, your, uh, your significant desert would enjoy. So we have a small four to five ounce pieces of a piece of Atlantic salmon that we season up with, uh, sorry, with a little lemon first, right? A little squeeze of some fresh lemon juice we put on here. Then we have some Thai ginger sea salt. Mm. Not a lot, just a little bit. The sea salt's very, very strong, right? Little uh, pepper. And then we sear it with the, with the flesh side down first. So they get a nice sear on there, just like that. And we turn it around a few times. And in the meantime, I think we can prepare the salad. So again, for this, we have uh, some kale that we, we clean this up here a little bit. That we kind of tear into bite-sized pieces, right? Yeah. So my philosophy on kale is, is always, if you rub it a little between your hands, you break up the fibers in the kale, and it almost turns into a different uh -huh. color, so it's much, much easier to eat. Uh, the second ingredient I'm gonna add to that is the avocado. So avocado, I always wanna cut the last moment because it will turn brown, right, if you don't. And of course, avocado, extremely healthy for you. It's got that good fat in it. So again, we just dice this up a little bit into small pieces, and they don't need to be perfect, those pieces, okay? And we uh, incorporate this into the uh, kale mix, right? We can mash them up a little bit in there. A few leaves of that spinach. Mm -hmm. And then we have some uh, edamame, okay? a few uh, orange segments, right? These are just a uh, fillet this, without the skin and without the seeds. Nicely, just like that. There are quite a few different ingredients in this salad. Yeah, and uh, like I said, the idea was to incorporate as many, per se, healthy food options, especially for the summertime, something that's easy accessible to anybody who wants to uh, duplicate the salad at home. So you essentially just seared the salmon yeah, on the grill just first. A, just a very sear, again, same same uh, concept as on the meat to kind of seal the juices inside, right? So that's the objective of that. So what we do then is we have a little uh, local honey here that we brush on top of the... And the key word was local honey. Yeah, company is called All About Bees. We have a little homemade granola that we... Uh, honey first, right? Sure. And if you just dip it in that homemade granola, it doesn't need to be a lot on there. Mm -hmm. Just a little crust, just like that. Okay. And then this we're gonna finish in the oven. So again, we have uh, some some fresh grape tomatoes here. Any color you can get in the store is fine, or any tomato for that matter. A few blueberries. So we also Another superfood. In it. Exactly. This is a white balsamic vinaigrette. So it's white balsamic vinegar. It's uh, shallots and garlic, it's uh, olive oil, uh, grapeseed oil, different Italian spices. That's the secret different. recipe is what you're saying. Yeah, if you come here and ask me for it, I'll, I'll give it to you. <laughs> so if you like any of those dishes I prepared here today and you want to learn them, a good uh, opportunity is if you join to sign up for our apprenticeship program. It's a three-year program that's certified with the American Culinary Federation. So after three years, you're a certified cook. The nice part about this is you uh, get a lot of hands-on experience. Mm -hmm. You learn next to all the chefs that we have on our property and other properties as well. It's a 5,600 hours total program. We do two years here on property, and then the third year you have the opportunity to do it anywhere else in our other 16 properties that we have. Okay? Wow. And uh, so it's a, it's 
great program, right? You get paid to learn what you what you enjoy doing, right? Yeah. So I like to use white china for any salad because sure. it just speaks fresh. So you can put a little bit of that, some of the greens on the bottom, and then you top it off with more colorful ingredients, if that's the tomatoes and the oranges and the avocados. Here we have a little pomegranate, uh, blueberry and uh, Greek yogurt. Uh, so we're gonna just maybe put this on the bottom of our salmon. The final ingredient, put the salmon right on the side there. Like that. Okay. Looks delicious, Chef. Yeah. Well, should we try it? Yeah, give it a shot. Let me try it. Yeah. What do we do? Fantastic. Yeah. Great healthy option for the summer. Thanks, Chef. Thank you. Thanks Appreciate so it. Ah, that superfood salad is new on the menu at Amerisports. And don't forget about Ameristar's Beer and Bacon Festival, Saturday, August 5th. The dates are right there, uh, September 2nd, uh, Saturday, September 30th. And then there's a Sunday date, October 1st. You'll find Ameristar in Council Bluffs right there, the website at the bottom of the screen. Good Tasty. stuff. And that was, fa it was fantastic. Yummy. Yeah. I'm hungry. Uh,